up, guys? This is your favorite Tiger, Tiger Power 2011 here. And today, I want to do a couple of reviews since, unfortunately, I have not been active on my YouTube channel in a while due to school. Because let me tell you, I have so many days off of school, so I've been really busy. So, over the past month or two, I actually been getting a couple of new CDs in my CD collection, finally. And the first one that I'm going to show to you right now as a review is one of them that's new duh is called green days nimrod this this album was released in 1997 my year <laughs> yeah cool and i'm trying to focus thank you these are the songs that are on the album and i really like the cover how they have nimrod covering the faces i think that's really clever <laughs> There's all the information, 1997, Reprise Records, which is really cool, because I was born in 1997, so it's always great finding albums that were released, like, the year that you were born, which I find really fun. Like I said, I do love the Nimrod covering the faces. I find that really clever. This is the CD. And there they are. Hey, guys. I heard that they're going to be at... Cleveland's, I believe, House of Blues in April, which is this month, I think, like, on the 23rd. And I'm like, oh, I wish you were coming to New Orleans House of Blues. I want to win. So, of course, you guys know I love these information pamphlets. I think they are, or lyric pamphlets. Some, some of these do have lyrics and some don't, but this one does. And there's Billy. Hey, Billy. There's Mike. Hey, Mike. And there's my boy, Trey. Hey, Trey. He's my favorite. And of course, if you guys didn't know that already. Like, I just love collecting CDs just to look at the lyrics and read the information about the CD and who produced the music and who all that good stuff. I just love looking at information and history. So, yeah, it's a really simple pamphlet. I mean, nothing much. There's just really good pictures, and here's all the people that were behind the album. It is really cool seeing all these people that produced one album. I just find that to be so cool. And there they are again. Aww. So yeah, basically, um, overall, the album, uh, I kind of preferred a little bit more than Dookie, but I like it because it still has the same style of Dookie. Like, I mean, most of the songs are like two minutes long, which I actually kind of like a Green Day. I like their fast-paced songs better than their slower. I don't know why, but that's just me. Like, I just feel like that punk rock just flows in them when they have those two-minute, one-minute songs. But overall, I think this album's really good. Even though I only listened to the full album, like, once, uh, I don't have a favorite song yet. I just still need to get used to the album. Like I said, I only listened to this album once. So, overall, I probably may have, like, a song or two that are my favorites. But overall, the album's really good if you... Sorry. If you get it for cheap, I do recommend you to get it. Because I got this at Best Buy for, like, $5. And I do have a pickups video that I showed you guys this. If you guys can find the video, <laughs> or if I find it, link will be in the description. So yes, this has been a overlook review of Green Day's 1997's Mint Rod. This has been your girl, Tiger Pro 2011. Of course, you guys, so to do as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.